we have St. Paul's Conference School, and they are going to present to us Operation of Mr. Fishy, the 3D Educational Block Model. Good afternoon, everyone. We're students from St. Paul's Convent School. I'm Hillary. I'm Tiffany. I'm Megan. I'm Queenie. I'm Bernice. Let us start off by asking you all a few questions. Do you know that by 2050, there will be more plastics than fishes in the ocean? Do you also know that there are 8 million tons of plastics being thrown into the ocean each year? It may sound unimaginable, but it is actually equivalent to 22 billion cans of soda. As more and more plastic goes into the ocean, it decreases the amount of water available for human consumption, hence of the water occupying 70% of the Earth's surface, only 0.4% is suitable for use. This is a warning for all of us to understand that it is time to make a difference. It's really about making people more conscious and aware that there is plastic out there in the water, said biological oceanographer Dr. Mar Maria McGeary. Since we hope to understand more on the issue before creating our art product to make it more in-depth and comprehensive, we did some research regarding major forms of marine debris and the harm they create. And here are some information we would like to share with you. First, what exactly is marine debris? According to the NOAA's National Ocean Service, marine debris is defined as any persistent solid material that is manufactured or processed, being disposed of into the marine environment. There is a large variety of marine debris damaging ocean life, and the main types generally include plastic bags, straws, cigarette butts, rubber, fishing nets, metal cans, and glass objects that we see and use in our daily lives. Based on research done by the Hong Kong Environmental Protection Department, plastics and styrofoam contributed in being a major kind of marine debris in 2013 and 2014, which harmed the marine life with their toxic elements. The Ocean Cleanup, a non-governmental engineering environmental organization based in the Netherlands, found out that the human food chain is under threat of marine debris, which affects bioaccumulation, where we are at risk due to consuming seafood. Moreover, during the International Coastal Cleanup in 2017, more than 2.4 million cigarette butts were found. Plastic straws also contribute as a majority to debris, and it is estimated that 500 million plastic straws are used every day, just in America and most may end up in the ocean primarily through human error. They would block the digestive system of marine animals, which reduce their ability to absorb nutrients. In addition, other common types of debris, such as fishing nets, plastic bags, and can holders, which can lead to debris entanglement of marine life. Since fishing nets release harmful chemicals that are designed to be durable, it would take many years for it to be degraded, therefore blocking sunlight from going into the ocean and affecting autotrophs. Thus, it poses as a huge threat to marine creatures and eventually disrupt the food chain. Yet, this group of information only shows a small insight to the harm that marine debris brings. As the problem is getting worse, we plan to take action and create an art product that could raise awareness to the reduction of marine debris. Our 
our project, Operation of Mr. Fishy, is a 3D educational fish block model. The aim of our project is to promote the reduction of marine debris and conserve biodiversity. Also, our two objectives include raising the public's awareness on the production of marine life and focusing on educating the younger generation through an interactive and playful approach. Why youngsters, you may ask? It's because we believe that the younger generations are the leading lights in our future society. Hence, it is crucial for us to educate them on the importance and the mindset of protecting our edge and environment at a young age. So, how did we come up with this idea? As we are conducting our background research, we, 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 we realized that not only does marine debris damage aquatic creatures, but the lives of human beings are also at stake. As humans consume seafood, the debris accumulated in aquatic creatures will be ultimately consumed by us. Meaning that we, who deliberately or accidentally contributed to the marine debris in the oceans, are going to suffer from our own actions. Therefore, we intend to design a product which can explicitly illustrate and explain the phenomen phenomenon to show the users that it's, this is an issue that can no longer be ignored. You may wonder why out of so many ideas we would choose to produce a fish model. We believe that children learn best through actively engaging in meaningful and socially interactive experiences. According to learning through play theory, by connecting play and education, it nurtures children to develop a deep conceptual understanding that allows them to connect concepts and skills, shaping them into creative, engaged, and lifelong learners who thrive in the 21st century. We chose the type of fish which is edible and is commonly seen in daily life to elevate their sense of connection. The fish model gives them the experience of exploring the insides of the fish, letting users imagine the process of how fish consume marine debris, which accumulates in the organ and is eventually eaten by us. So, how does it work? We're going to present our product in detail from three perspectives. Firstly, the packaging design of our product. At the front, you can see the name of our product and our fish model. And at the back of it, there will be two diagrams of our fish product being shown. The first will be an informative diagram of the fish. On the diagram, numbers will be printed on each organ, so users will be able to match them with the name list printed beside the diagram in order to get familiarized with all the pieces. The second diagram will be the bone structure of our fish, showing the skeleton of the pagris major. In addition, our design concept will also be stated, allowing users to have a better understanding on the message that we would like to bring through our product. Now, moving, to on, moving on to our second perspective, the fish model itself. This is a handmade three-dimensional model made with silicone mold and painted using acrylic. At first sight, I'm sure all of you will see a healthy, normal-looking fish. Next. Removing the outer layer, which is the skin and the scales of the fish, you will see the organs, which look fresh and healthy. But when you flip the organs, you will realize that they are contaminated with common marine debris, such as plastics, cans, straws, and styrofoam. We made the contaminated organs through making a mold handcraft with clay at first, then sealing the debris materials with resin in the form of the different organs. In addition, for users to experience and to continue educate on the issue, the mold and the resins would be also be provided inside as part of the DIY kit. Users will be able to make the organs from scratch as part of recycling with rubbish collected from the water and it will be cost free. This will be interactive and it continues the use of the product which is engaging and efficient. Continuously, it will initiate children to be engaged in helping cleaning out the debris through making of this process, so children will not only learn, but act. The shocking discovery of the contaminated organs would bring the users into realization of the devastating harm being done to the marine animals and what we are consuming along with the seafood. Apart from the fish model, an instruction booklet will also be included. Where the harmful effects of each type of marine debris will be explained in further detail. 
the more users know about, the more likely they are going to pay attention to their actions. Regarding the safety issues of our product, not only is our model educational, but it is also child friendly. As you can see, the organs are large with smooth ends and it's easy to handle, which is safe for young children. Also, our model does not include any small pieces, which prevents children from swallowing them accidentally during the process. Lastly, we hope to promote and spread the message about harmfulness of marine debris through this product as it can help educate the public on the damage done to the body parts of a fish which has consumed marine debris. Especially with social media being a connective tool nowadays, it would be more convenient for us to promote our product through this platform, reaching out to audiences globally. To conclude, our team hopes to evoke the public sympathy towards marine life through our product. We will also like to raise people's awareness towards these issues and to emphasize the importance of each of our small acts, hoping to make a big difference to the well-being of marine animals and our planet. Last but not least, we would like to thank Ocean Park for giving us the opportunity to look into such an important issue and to enrich our knowledge. The way to get started is to quit talking and start doing. And this is how we all should approach the issue on marine debris and take action. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So now we have the Q&A session. Thank you. Thank you, SBCS. Um, um, I'm a mother of four. I have four children at home. And I'm very tempted to buy your toy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. OK, um, I want to ask a question. Um, uh, we only see part of this toy. Have you actually made the whole piece? Uh, oh, there is. OK, can we take a look? And uh, I would like to know, um, because this is a promo it's about promoting um, the conservation and all that, um, have you actually given this toy to a focus group of children and let them play with them? And if there is, um, what age group are you expecting this you know, for, for? What kind of age group will it be? So we designed this toy, or we, sh we can say the product, uh, based on the younger generation. It is available, it's suitable for ages three or up. So we kind of targeted this product to some of our schoolmates, which they think it is quite interesting and fun. It, it would be also attract, and it's also pretty attractive, especially with the bright colors inside and outside the fish and the organs. So I guess with this product itself, it could help raise the awareness of any age group, especially the younger generation. Okay. Um, you are well used of design thinking model, I think, because you already adapt some design thinking concept. Um, I want to know more about why you cho choose purple for the main color. Uh, Is it you do a research that kids like uh, purple? No, it's just because um, actually the packing, packaging design. Well, I followed like you need a dis like you need to follow um, how designers like especially like the fish is in uh, red in color. So the color that needs to be compared to the fish is actually you need to think about it. Like, um, usually. Per um, red are more suitable with colors like purple, blue, and which forms the contrast. And more importantly, I think these kind of colors are more attractive to kids. And I believe that uh, most kids love these kind of color, which is more vibrant and colorful. Maybe next time you can do more research on the toys um, package. So you will find that maybe the, you can change and more, uh, you can try more color to make the uh, better package design. Um, thank you for the presentation. And I think you did a very good job on the research and uh, did a good uh, link between the fish and the human. And yeah, I'm very thoughtful on the uh, toy design and taking care about the, the small kids. Yeah, that's all my um, comments. Thank, thank you. you so much for your comments. Thank you. Thank you very much.